Hello there! So today we're gonna to be doing a fun video. We're gonna be doing another Amazon review and today we're gonna to be doing baked waffles. So I'm super curious if these are gonna work out and also these are super flexible and like other silicone mats I've used. So we're gonna test them out, see if we can get some waffle textured waffles from baked waffles and yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, we're going to need these ingredients, which will also be listed in the description below, and talk to the like button, subscribe while you're down there. And just like any other bake, we're going to prep our baking forms, which are going to be these silicone molds. So I'm going to go ahead and prep both silicone molds, and to do that, I'm going to be adding butter to make sure they don't stick in these little crevices and cracks. Also, I noticed I could fold this one in half to maybe make a double-sided waffle, but I'm just going to keep it this way for now. So what we're going to do is grab a little bit of melted butter and also a little brush to brush our melted butter inside there because there's all these little crevices. So a brush is gonna be really helpful. I'm just using this little plastic one and I'm gonna brush every little crevice, crack and cranny to make sure it's well buttered. This will also add a nice golden brown on top, or I guess on bottom <laughs> of our waffles and make them look really nice and beautiful. And again, make sure they don't stick. And after we're done buttering them, we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius. Then we're gonna transfer these little forms onto a baking tray because the silicone is so flexible. We wanna make sure they don't move around too much. Now it's time to actually move on to our waffles. So we're gonna grab all of our flour and to our flour we're gonna be adding in our baking soda, our baking powder, and also our salt. And then we're also gonna be adding in about two tablespoons of sugar or three tablespoons of sugar. It's really up to you on how sweet you want your waffles to be. I'm adding in three tablespoons of sugar. And then we're gonna grab ourselves a whisk, whisk this up until it's well combined, and then after mixing, put it off to the side until we need it. And then we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients, which are gonna be mixed in a separate bowl. So we're gonna grab ourselves a medium to large size bowl, and then to this large size bowl, we're gonna be adding all of our wet ingredients. So we're gonna first add our milk, I've overfilled my milk bowl so it's really hard to move, so I'm moving it very carefully, making sure I don't spill. And we're going to pour all this milk into our large bowl. And then we're going to be adding in our oil. You can either use coconut oil or vegetable oil. I'm going to be using vegetable oil for mine. And we're going to be adding in some vanilla extract or vanilla paste or your vanilla bean. You can choose one of the three. I'm going to be using vanilla paste and I'm going to be adding at least one teaspoon just to make sure I really get that vanilla flavor. And then two eggs. So we're gonna be cracking these eggs on a separate bowl and we're gonna be dropping them directly into our wet mixture. So make sure you guys crack these with confidence. I've cracked this one too much, but that's okay. Drop that one directly into our mixture and then crack the second one with confidence and drop that in our mixture. And then we're gonna grab our handy dandy whisk, pop those yolks and whisk everything until it's well combined. And then we're gonna combine our wet and dry ingredients. So go ahead and grab your dry ingredients you made earlier, and we're gonna be adding this directly into our wet ingredients in thirds. So go ahead and add in your first third, and you're gonna start whisking this until it's almost combined. It should only take about 10 to 30 seconds, not very long. You're gonna add in your second third and continue whisking that. And once it's almost combined, add in your last third. And you're gonna whisk this until everything is well combined and there are no lumps or clumps in your batter. So it could take about three to five minutes. Just keep whisking until you have no clumps left. And you're gonna have a nice, thick, and rich batter. And now we're ready to put our batter into our baking form. So we're gonna grab the baking forms that we prepped earlier. And like I said, I've put these on a baking tray because these silicone mats are so flexible, they're not really stiff. So if I bend them or pick them up, they're gonna fold and the batter is gonna make a mess. So go ahead and put them on baking racks and then we're gonna grab some spoons and we're gonna start spooning our batter directly in. So I went ahead and added two to two and a half spoonsfuls of batter into each of the heart ones. This is gonna make sure that it bakes evenly and that all of my forms have exactly the same amount. We also wanna make sure we don't fill it completely. We wanna make sure it's about two thirds of the way full. And I'm gonna repeat this with each one. I do use the back of my spoon to kind of spread out the batter a little bit more, making sure that all the little dots in the middle of my form are covered with the batter to make sure it bakes evenly and also fluffs up. Once that's done, we can switch over our forms to move on to the square one. For the square ones, we're gonna be adding a little bit more batter as they're a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna be adding three to three and a half tablespoons of batter into each square. I'm using the back of my spoon to spread out the batter a little bit, making sure that all the little dots inside the silicone form are covered to make sure we have a nice even bake. And make sure you're filling these also up about two thirds of the way full, not too full. 
And once you're ready, we don't have to tap these on the table or anything like that because those air bubbles are actually what we want inside the waffle to make sure it's fluffy. And these are gonna get popped into the oven until they're golden brown for about 15 to 17 minutes. Not very long until they're nice and golden brown on top. Once they're done baking, we can pull them directly out of the oven and either transfer them over to a cooling rack, but I'm gonna just keep them on the cutting board because they're still quite hot and I wanna show you how they look directly out of the oven. So these are nice and golden brown and absolutely beautiful. They're actually popping out of the silicone mat already, but as you see here, there's actually quite a bit of dome on top, so they're not exactly like waffles. They have the dome on top, but they have this beautiful checkered board on the bottom, and this looks exactly like a waffle other than this part which is nice and golden brown and it's quite thick so these ones aren't exactly like the other heart waffles you normally make from the form from the waffle maker but they're absolutely gorgeous and they come out of the silicone mat super easy and i mean these are super cute and watch this one this falls out perfectly fine no issues with sticking no issues with anything they come out perfectly i have a lot of issues with waffles sticking to my waffle maker and these look so good they're really flexible, really soft, and also really hot still. <laughs> but I'm gonna break one open to show you all the beautiful bubbles on the inside, how fluffy they are. These things are truly just like a regular waffle. I think a lot easier to make. They fall apart, they taste like waffles, they smell like waffles. The hearts are really cute. The one thing about the hearts though, they are a little bit different from what you normally buy or normally make because they are a lot thicker but they are super fluffy. They, they're like a little pillow, which is really, really fun. But the one thing I've noticed about the heart ones and these ones is we don't have the waffle print on both sides. And that's, that's gonna happen because we only have one-sided waffle print, but that's okay. We can stack them and you wouldn't even notice if you gave them to somebody because they look just like waffles. Look at that, waffle stack. These ones, on the other hand, they don't stack. And they also don't have that beautiful like connection like a normal waffle does. These ones you normally can rip apart and it's a joy to rip apart and have them at a carnival, but they don't fit perfectly together. And that's, that's something I'm willing to let go, to have a cute little waffle to have at home and make and enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed these waffles as well because they're super cute, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to make. And I'm gonna be honest with you, these waffles are actually pretty amazing. Yeah, we have this little round sided, but the other side looks exactly like a waffle and they taste exactly like a waffle too. So those are great. And they're quite fluffy, like they're super fluffy. I can squish them down and they kind of fluff back up. So they're quite delightful to eat. And I highly recommend this thing. Other than I do recommend filling the silicone mats on a baking tray because I tried doing it with my second batch and not doing that and I ended up spilling batter all over the place. That's the one recommendation I have. So really fluffy waffles, taste fantastic, super easy, pop in the oven, don't have to slave over a waffle maker and makes really good waffles. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to get more creative in the kitchen or learn some new sweet bakes go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to watch a different Amazon review go ahead and check out these donuts here they turned out super tasty. Or if you want to challenge yourself in the kitchen and learn a different bake try these croissants here. And with all that said I hope you have a fantastic week and I can't wait to see you guys until next time. Ciao!